welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Pearly Hot and today. <laughs> today I am back with another video. You guys, I am back. I know you guys missed me a lot. I got a lot of messages from you guys saying, when are we getting a new video? It's been over three weeks when are we getting a new video and I'm back. I'm so excited to be back here with you guys. You guys. I don't know what's wrong with me, fam. But I'm so excited. You guys, I'm going to be documenting my camp experience, the 21 day camp experience. Hey guys. So this is how I'm going to do it. I still post every Sunday, but I'm going to do it like in episodes. So this is going to be like the first episode. So you guys follow through on every event that happened. I came prepared, you guys, I got receipts. So sit back, enjoy, and just, you know, let me know in the comment section, by the way. Pause this video right now. You don't have to pause it necessarily. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, the big subscribe button button on your screen, and also hit the bell button beside the subscribe button so that you can always get notified when I post a new video. Now, guys, let's talk about the journey where I was posted to because I remember I'd never told you guys where I was posted to, but some of you all already know because some of you guys follow my social media. So I'm going to talk about where I was posted to, the journey to get there, and the first day in camp so if you want to know how this turns out make sure to continue watching okay now guys first of all I was posted to Plateau <laughs> I was posted to Plateau just now you guys <clears throat> let me tell you something Plateau is cold just as cold like extremely cold everybody knows that Plateaus like the mini London, you know, in Nigeria. And I've never visited, I've never gone so far off, like in the north. I've never been to the north before. This is somebody leaving home for the first time ever. Going to a place that's so far, 16 hours plus journey. I wasn't happy about that. When I saw the um, what's it called, the color palette, I was like, whoa, 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 hold on. Where am I going to again? It was really, really, I felt like crying. The only thing that I was so happy about was the fact that it was going to be cold. I love cold weather. I do not like hot places. So I was quite glad that it was. So guys, I had to actually become a grown-up and decide that, you know what, I can do this. So I packed my things and I headed for the bus park. Now the bus park, they told us that the camping flats is like the best in terms of cleanliness, in terms of good infrastructure, good structures, good facilities and all of that. I was like, okay, okay. Guys, so we left um, Lagos because the bus was supposed to take us from Lagos directly to the camp. So we left Lagos on Tuesday, the 8th of June 2019, which was when we were supposed to report to camp. We left there and we got um, to Joss the next day around 7 a.m. thereabouts. So it was a long journey. But shout out to you, Ibrahim. He was a bus driver. He was so determined. He drove throughout the night and we got there early in the morning. I can't get my Are you guys, it was true. The camp is so clean, so beautiful, so colorful, guys. The first thing I noticed when I got to plateau is the beautiful sky the sky is actually blue damn not like in lagos you just see white sky all around everything bad you know what i'm saying but here it was so cool there was no traffic i enjoyed just watching the view now let's talk about you know how we're checked in and also get some hostels and bed space and all of that. Guys, do you know something? When we got into the gate, the searched our bags and our baggages, sorry, our luggage and everything and we were asked to going. We're so relieved because we were like almost 20 hour journey and we're so happy to just go find a hostel, our best spaces and just rest. But no, this still just came around. They say, carry your luggage on your head and be running. And I say, huh? It's not like when I came from, I didn't know what, nobody warned me. I was so shocked and I was so angry. Right now, it's funny because, you know, it's not now. <laughs> it didn't just happen. But I was so tired. We're all so tired. We had not even brushed or taken a bath or even eaten. And we're asked to carry our, our stuff on our head and start running. A lot of people that carried, like, 
a year's supply of clothes sent. <laughs> It was so funny. There was this girl, her bag was got like two humans. I'm not even kidding you, can fit into that bag. I, was, I felt so sorry for also, her. Also, they played with us, like they would say something like, Copper, cash banana. Oh yeah, cash banana. <laughs> Copper, cash, I say cash banana. We're like, which banana? We are hungry. Just keep me the banana, let me eat. It was so like, we're so tired and frustrated and we're like, these guys are just using us to play around. And anyway, so we finally got to the hostel. You guys, I'm going to insert a clip of how the hostel looks like. It's my hostels. I was so possible. You gonna have your butt. It was quite nice. We had clean bathrooms, unlike the stories I heard from some other camps in other states that they had to use pit latrines. We actually had WCs, a lot of them with doors, so we couldn't see anybody's naked knees, and that was a good thing because I never wanted, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know. Anyway, guys, so we had to go get our kits. That's the Crestiverse, the khaki, and the other inferior white materials they were going to give us. So guys, I'm going to also insert a clip of how we were waiting to get our... It was a long line of process. We had to get registered, go to um, the ICT, we had to go to the main office, then finally got to get our, you know, kits. And so... So we got the boots and if you don't get your size actually you just ask somebody to exchange you look for somebody that has your size and you guys just do trade the back tie i'm saying person would give you what he has or what she has and you give the person what you got so everybody's happy that's how we did it and it was fun kind of no no not really fun everybody was tired and smelly and whatever so guys this is all is going to this is all i'm going to talk about for now i do not want the video to be too long i want you guys to look forward to something every sunday so i'm going to talk about the next day um in camp and how we got sworn in you know with our crested vest and our khaki i'm looking so beautiful i'm going to tell you guys all about that came with a lot of clips so make sure okay to guys that. i almost forgot so when you're going through the registration process when i was going through it actually they'll give you a tag and, and with a number in it, mine was 1591, so I was in Platinum 1. So whatever digit that number ends with, it's the Platinum you belong to. So I was in one Platinum and I had to line up, you know, we had to line up according to Platoons. I lined up, you know, you know, with the Platinum um, members, Platinum 1 members or one Platinum members. And yeah, so that's it. I have a lot to tell you guys still on that day, but I do not want this video to be too long. So if you haven't liked this video, please thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, Comment down below if you have a similar experience. If you've gone to camp, if you haven't, still comment down below. I need to know what you think about this video. And to like, comment away next time. Make sure to spread love, not hate, take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you guys in my next video.